In this lesson we're going to look at the perimeter and area of shapes. Um, the concept of perimeter we've already seen. Um, it was introduced back in section 1.4 and we define it as the distance around an object. Um, the thing we're going to do with perimeter here is, um, at least for the case of a rectangle, we're going to give a formula for finding the perimeter. So if a rectangle has length L and width W, you can find the perimeter by taking 2 times the length and adding that to 2 times the width. The area of a shape is um, a concept we haven't really looked at yet, uh, and it's simply the amount of space taken up by that shape. Um, and so the area of a rectangle with length L and width W is given by the formula A equals L times W. So we're going to put both of these formulas into practice in this example. So let's start um, in this rectangle with the perimeter. And so um, when you're labeling the sides as length or width, the length by convention is going to be the longer side, whatever that happens to be. So we'll call the length 12 feet and the width 7 feet. So our formula says we're going to take 2 times L plus 2 times W. So we're going to plug 12 in where we see L and 7 in where we see W. Now in the next section, 1.7, we're going to talk about how to, in general, figure out what an expression is equal to when there's lots of things going on like multiplication, addition, subtraction, and so on. And we'll talk about how to do that in general. For now, I'll just state that what we're going to do first is the multiplication. So we will be multiplying 2 times 12, which gives us 24, and 2 times 7, which gives us 14 first. And then after we're done with that, we'll go ahead and add those results. So we get a perimeter of 38 feet. So one way to think of this is uh, um, if you needed to surround this um, this object uh, you know with fence or something like that uh, you would need 38 feet of fence to do that. Now the area let's use the formula first then we'll kind of talk about the concept of area after we do so. So area is length times width. So for us that's going to be 12 times 7. And we can compute that easily enough. We get 84. Now the way you label area is not in feet. We're going to say this is 84 square feet. Or um, we could also say 84, kind of as an abbreviation here, feet with a little square symbol there. So both of those mean the same thing, square feet. Okay. So first of all, when I say square feet, what is, it, what is that? Well, here's a picture of one square foot. A square foot is just a square try my best to make a square here where all the sides are one foot so it's a one foot by one foot square and so when we say that our area is 84 square feet what we're saying is that 84 of these little squares could fit inside this rectangle that's literally what 84 square feet means 
So uh, just remember when you're working in perimeter, that's a distance around an object, and so that should just be in plain old feet. But area, we're talking about how much space something takes up. So we want to know how many of these little square feet fit into that object.